How's it going everyone? My name is Cornchip and welcome back to Code of the Black Knights. Last time I ended on a cliffhanger where I have a choice to make. We're at the point in the story, although I feel like I've said this before, but we're at the point in the story where every choice is gonna change the outcome pretty significantly, I'm sure. Like I said, I believe the, the page for this says there's 10 different endings. So this is gonna split me down a certain path, I'm sure. And so we can either help Kaleth reforge the emblem, which means like, Basically, helping spawn a horrible demonic entity, monster, darkness, something that will probably cause a lot of casualties, but in theory it's going to unite everyone to overcome this horrible thing. Or we can be like, no, Kayla, that's stupid, and fight him, even though that means the war is going to continue, and basically the, the world's going to be in the same state it's been, which hasn't been that great as of late. And I was like, oh man, I don't know which one to choose. But I've thought about it off screen. It's actually been like a day or two since I recorded the last one. Not that I've been thinking about it so hard since then. But I know what decision I'm going to make. And it's going to be this one. And my reason being is I would feel like a huge hypocrite if I chose the top one. Because I feel like Kayla's plan is somewhat along the same vein as Vert's. Which I already made fun of a lot and said, wow, Vert, you're stupid. Because Vert wanted to conquer everybody, like just basically be uh, a dictator, I couldn't think of the word for a second, um, to unite all people under him by force to then face the great evil together. Um, and Caleb is like, oh, I want to spawn this awful thing, but so we can all band together and stop it. And like, I honestly just think about, uh, hopefully talking about Overwatch doesn't turn anybody off, but... And Overwatch doesn't have a lot of lore, but like the character Doomfist is this extreme kind of guy who wants to plunge the world into another war uh, just because his mentality is war drives people to advance more and become better. It's like all the survivors of the war would be stronger. Like that's why I want this thing. I feel like that's, and I, I don't like that way of thinking at all. So I really don't like Kayla's way of thinking. And I'm sure Code of the Black Knights doesn't have a canon ending but I feel like this is probably the canon one, because reforging the emblem, I assume, would be the Fire Emblem. You know, most of the Fire Emblem games have a Fire Emblem of some sort. So that's probably, like, the canon one, but I'm gonna stick to this. And hopefully it's not a bad end. Hopefully this is just a path choice. <laughs> oh, well. Um, I don't remember why I split chapter 24 and 25. But I'll go ahead and overwrite this one. Defiers of Death. Also, we're still on chapter 25, or something. Unless that's just a 6 and the pixel art makes it hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure that's a 5. We've made a decision. I'm sorry, but we can't help you. Long ago, I made a vow that I would not sacrifice lives just to realize a plan. And this mass murder is the ultimate betrayal to this vow. I understand what you're going through, but this is just too much. I see, and the only path left is... I understand you. I know what it feels like. That's exactly where I must stop you in your ritual, right here. You can try, but to defy the order of Ouroboros is to allow the world to be drowned in darkness. No, you're going to stop the war ourselves. You'll see soon enough. I have come too far. I made too many sacrifices to allow you to stop the creation of the Black Weapon. You are no longer welcome. Be gone. He may have warped, but he can't go too far. Be careful. I will be waiting for you, as I have for so long. If my acolytes fall, then it is my duty to defeat you before you destroy us. Listen carefully, knights. This is the turning point. The Order of Ouroboros manipulated everything from the shadows. If we can stop them now, all that will be left will be to end the war with Weisold. Once again, lend me your strength. Also, uh, I don't remember if I mentioned it. Yeah, we lost Maria last chapter. Thanks to Fog of War stuff, which I'm still kind of bitter about. But it does open up other units to fight for me, so that's... I mean, that's like a good side to the horribleness. Uh, this gives me Sun God Rats vibes. Oh, of course we immediately have a Spell Sniper, that's yucky. What item do you have? Oh, I get to have the Rune Sword. I really like that sprite. I'm pretty sure we saw it on another enemy. I like that a lot. Wish I could have a character like that. Oh yeah, all these acolytes are this sprite. It's just taunting me. 
And this is like a recolored Loen, is that his name? <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I'm clicking around the map. I guess we don't know where Caleb is because he warped? Or no, he's right there. Stoic leader of the Order of Ouroboros lost his wife during the war and his quest took a toll in his body. His stats aren't... Well, his magic is scary. Like, if he hits us, it's probably gonna do a lot. A prodigal spirit guides who can resurrect souls. Their light and dark magic is overwhelmingly powerful. Yeah, I'm sure it is. And you do drop a rune shard, so that's interesting. And you have blizzard. That sucks for me. We're not in range of it, but I'm gonna probably have to use the phantom spamming. Also, I'm just gonna say it now. I'm probably not gonna finish this chapter in this episode, but let's uh, figure out my units. I definitely don't want Iris. Don't know why you're here. Go away. <laughs> uh, these are all good. Um, Hermes is gone as well. He didn't die, but since Maria died, he's like, bye. Uh, and Josephine's down here? Does that let me bring everybody I want? You know, except for Hermes, because he isn't here. And Maria, because she's dead? It looks like it. So that's kind of cool. We still have some rune shards I need to give people. These two still need to promote, and... I'll go ahead and try, but I'm pretty sure the game said they can't use the rune shards, so... I don't know when they can promote. Oh, I have a lot of gems now, too. Oh, can you use it? No. So I don't know if they get story promotions, or if they're just so powerful in these forms that they don't actually get a third promotion. <laughs> Which would make sense. They're both level 20 and very powerful. Um, I would like to give her some sort of range once again, other than the magic. Let me double check. I don't know if I need to keep the Night Mantle on her. These stats are pretty good. Her defense is pretty nutty. Um, but who would I give it to in turn? Who needs better stats? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really think Rose necessarily needs better stats, but I wouldn't mind giving it to her. Or I could give it to my other Dark Mage. That's not a bad choice, right? And then you can use... Your preferred weapon that, honestly, I should have used up a long time ago? There's really no point in Gawain anymore, because I have Avalon, which is just a better Gawain, I feel like. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy her just Normie Flux. Also, sorry if I take too long on this prep stuff. I, that's why I like to end at chapter starts, so I can just do all this like off-screen, but of course, I don't get that luxury this time. Oh, you know something that I could do? Give these Juna fruits to Shores and Noir so I can level them up more. That's not a bad idea. Even though, again, they're so strong they might not need the extra levels. Oh, I hopefully I don't have to lose money through any other penalties at some point. And make those like completely obsolete. You know, I think I'm at the point where I can like go ahead and dump these in the convoy. The convoy is filling up, but... Okay, and I've got all you deployed. Yeah, we lost Maria stuff. I think I gave her the silver card, but then alternatively, I think I just saw the silver card in the convoy again, didn't I? Nope, just the member card. Yeah, I lost my dang silver card on Maria. It really sucks. I don't think we need all these elixirs, so I'm gonna go sell them. I literally just said, I, I'm sorry if I'm going to take too long, as I just continue to take way too long. Okay, so let's check out the inventories. I don't think Grey can use this Diabolus thingy, but... Uh, it's like something for him. Master Demon Slayers. Which... Is what he is. Elizabeth is good, Josephine seems good, you seem good, Angel's good. You don't need the goggles anymore. Uh, but I guess we can keep your inventory open. Say should be good, you're good, you're good. Your L fire is about to break, but you have another one. Or I could just go ahead and sell this and then grab the Bulganun. As always, I'm sure my pronunciation is just terrible. Oh, or that's not a bad, well. When L fire breaks, we'll switch to that and then we'll bring that as well. Zero steel bow is about to break, but otherwise he's fine. You know, let me check the bows in the convoy, though. I could switch them to a uh, silver bow, and then we can just sell that steel bow at some point if I need to. 
Say's got some low lightning durability, but otherwise whatever. Okay, again, even though let's let me let me see here. She's got two max stats. And you also have two max stats. But I'm gonna go ahead. Okay, I'll drop the flux for a second. I'm gonna Junifruit you, because it loses four levels, but she keeps all her stats. So she can get more. Flux, please. And then we'll do the same to Shores. Just because I feel like I'm still going to be using them a lot. And might as well be profiting off those kills rather than just seeing them kind of go to waste. But I also still don't want to use them too much because I need other people to get to level 20 so I can use the Rune Shards. And yes, I know they don't actually need to get to level 20 before I use them, but you guys... If you've been watching me for a while, you know I like to hit the max levels before promoting anyone. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save here and then do a save state, just so I don't have to do all this prep again should anything happen. Uh, I guess we'll save here. And uh, let's... I don't think I needed to do any, like, formation changes. It's already been so long. We're 11 minutes in and I haven't started, so... I think we can just get started. Nope, that's not getting started. This is getting started. So you have Gray here, so him and Oliver can work on their support. That'd be great. Oh, I was about to say, he can Sharp Claw from a distance? He has the Diabolus. So he has two infinite weapons, and of course I don't get the stats on either of them. The fact that this is maybe cursed makes me a little wary to use it. Also, I feel like using his Dragonstone on this is kind of a waste. And also, he had a 6% chance to die if I do that. So maybe I'll hold off. Uh, you're going to be at disadvantage if you attack. Doesn't matter, though. Say is still popping off with the crits. This is a great start. I mean, she didn't need the crit, but it's just good to show off a certain dominance. I need to get everyone kind of far away with all these stupid spell snipes we got going on. Okay, next up. Is there anyone I should try to focus on to get to 20... I don't know if Hazel would be a good rune shard choice, but at the same time, I'm kind of intrigued. And she's, like, amazing with the silver knives. I mean, Lowell could probably be a good choice for... Uh... Rune fruiting. What does this guy have? Rune sharding, I mean. Rune fruiting? What the hell is that? Uh, this guy can't damage me, but I can't kill him unless I do this, so might as well do this. Or I'll just crit. Bye. Also, Lowell's been sitting out for a while, so it's good to have him back. Especially when he can just fly through levels like that. And get S rank Lance. So what supports am I working on now? You're still at A rank and good with everything. You need your brother. Uh, Hermes is available now, but unless I do it with Oliver, he's kind of... I don't want to say out of luck. That sounds weird. I don't know. Um, even though I said I don't want to use them too much, I'm probably going to have to use them here. Now, Josephine can reach, but I don't know if it's going to do any good. Oh, she could kill. Well, I'm going to go ahead and move Shores up. Uh, and I guess... Yeah, we can keep the Nell on him. And Josephine come up here. Shores should boost her, so this is, like, even more epic. Doesn't really feel like it did that much of a boost, but we got the kill, so who cares? Not a bad level. Do you have an ace port with Say? That's correct. Elizabeth has no one. <laughs> Rose and Lowell can uh, get together. Mithra, I'm a little scared to move too far in, but I might. We'll see. Guess we'll keep on the Avalon. I like the infinite use stuff or the non durability stuff. could dance for Lowell, but I don't really know what that's going to do for me, as I do it anyway.
Yeah, she got max level too. You know, I didn't test if I could use a rune shard on her. Like, I doubt I can. But it's still worth looking into, I, I feel like. You're gonna stand... Oh, okay. So here's... I'm assuming there's C support. Big brother, do you have a moment? For you and eternity. I'm just glad you turned out on the good side. Well, I'm aware we're not saints, of course. But it makes me really happy to think that after all these years, we can finally be brothers together again. Come to think of it, isn't this all happening because we all believe we're doing good? Yes, I'm afraid so. Vert fought for his beliefs until the very end. And so are we. Then let's allow history to decide who was right in the end. And in the meantime, we will have to do our best to ensure long-lasting peace for the future. That includes saving as many lives as possible. Long-lasting peace for the future. Are you sure we only spent three years separated? Well, it did feel like decades. No thanks to you, of course. You know, putting me in prison and all that. You piece of shit. It's like, whoa! Brother, language! Don't ever talk like that again! I say, let Oliver say fuck. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put him next to Angel. He'll also boost Noir, so that's pretty nice. Um, you can't do much for me here. I didn't give you a purge. I don't even remember if I have one or not. Zero also can't do anything for me right now. Uh, he could hit someone with the giant speller, that armored guy, but I'm not going to do that. Annabelle, my wife, I am sorry to disturb your sleep, but we need your help, if only for a moment. Could you protect us? As always, I cannot help you forever, but for the little time I can stay in this world, I will do everything in my power. Oh. Yo, that's kind of messed up. I thought you said you didn't figure out how to, like, immortality. I just realized we got pretty close to a mage there, and uh, mages can hurt me pretty badly. Oh god, that is a lot of reinforcements. Please stop. Okay, you're done now. That should be enough. Okay, no damage here, even with the skill. This remixed enemy battle music is messing me up. Ow, oh, dang it. Get better resistance, Lowell. Lowell. Okay, for some reason these people didn't move. I don't know why, but I'm not going to complain, because I would prefer people not to move and come hurt me. This person can't move, but they have bolting. This person's got a Zwei hand, or you got a Brave Axe. Uh, I could attack with Hazel. Probably have to attack with Hazel. Maybe. I don't know. Do you have the Restore Staff? Yes, you do. Okay, so... Yeah, I say let's go ahead and attack with Hazel. Uh, we can even use the Killing Edge instead of the Silver Knife. Maybe she'll level up? No, she's pretty low. Yeah. But still, good experience. Um, don't like your hit chances. Is your skill really bad? I feel like when I... 16, yeah, that's kind of low, I guess. If only I had, like, a monster killer. <laughs> I don't like the chance of you taking 38 damage. Like, that's pretty yuck, if I'm being honest. And I'm just all about honesty. That's also really bad. This is my... Mages are definitely my problem. Or definitely a problem, anyway. Rose can't do much, so I'm just gonna move her forward. As always, I don't necessarily want Shores and Noir to be fighting every single thing, but... I might need them to. Okay, that should be a kill, just enough with the Aether. Yep. I mean, at least he's still getting good experience. Okay, so with Shores nearby, is it enough for you to kill? Well, okay, let me take that back. He's always had enough to kill. But is it helpful to, like, stave off any damage? And it looks like the answer to that is no. 
Well, shoot, I wanted to maybe dance Shores up. Because I would like to kill that Bolting. Because Bolting is also yuck. Hazel can usually melt people with her silver knife, so... I guess she is a good dance option. I haven't checked Josephine yet. She could also be... Oh, the Citalith Lance. Yeah, we'll just do that. Should have checked if they had Miracle or not. I don't know if Sages can get Miracle. But I don't know enough about anything to be taking these risks in the first place. They should still be close enough for uh, Cecil the Prophet. I might just have to risk heavy damage on him. Noir can still do absolutely massive damage with the basic tome. I mean, she does have her supports nearby, but still. I mean, I have to use you here. I don't need Lowell Brave Lancing anybody. Or Killer Lancing anybody, for that matter. He's got good odds to kill, like, anybody he wants, really. Alright, Cecil, here comes the damage risk, I know. Okay, it actually got a lot better with Noir here, though. Do any of these... Yes. <laughs> also, since this is a monster, it should be like a level up instantly. At least that seems to be the theme so far. Yeah, 100 experience. I uh, wish you got more than just that, bud, but, you know, whatever. Okay, I don't really like... Well, this guy's just got a Killer Lance, which is a little scary, and then... You're not moving at all, but you have a Silence. Where's the Berserk Boy? Were you the one who Berserked us? Yeah. You're like, forget Eclipse, I'm gonna Berserk. Because it has insane range. They can only get one support per level, but... Uh... I can still, like, build on it, I think, so then, like, next chapter they would just immediately have the next one. I think that's how it works, anyway. But again, my knowledge of stuff in this game and in general is pretty bad. <laughs> oh, you didn't have a Tomahawk this time? Just an Iron Axe? Oh well. If you can get Berserked, that's... fine. Okay, so hopefully with you standing there... Uh, the Killer Lance guy will go after you, and then... Hazel should be fine here. Uh, should I Killer Edge it? Killing Edge it? Killer Edge, wow. Ooh, okay, she's definitely gonna get Rune Sharded. That sounds gross. Got a nice red gem, too. Yeah, having her be a combat unit is great. They did go after the phantom. You fell for my trap, and you might not even hit him. You absolute scrub. Are you gonna get doubled? Oh, yeah, you are. Oh. Is that my first time seeing the phantom crit? That was dope. I just wrote a comment to someone about it, but like, phantom emblem, when? Somebody make a ROM hack where you just... Well, that'd actually be really difficult if all the phantoms had 1 HP and that was your team. But I just really like phantoms, okay? Uh, Hazel getting silenced is not a big deal to me. She can't heal anymore, I barely use her to heal, so who cares? Mithra and Oliver getting silenced is a different story. Now the problem is, do I... Restore a phantom? Because they can hurt me pretty badly, I'm sure. But wasting a restore on a phantom also seems kind of dumb. I don't know. I might have to. Just to play it safe. Because I don't think I can, like, rescue him with anybody. And I... Can I summon another one and would it just get rid of him? I'm gonna try that, because it's not like I really have anything else to do with Say this turn anyway. 
Also, is this wall breakable? What's the point of that? That's kind of suspicious, but I, I'm not gonna... Last time I broke something without understanding what it did, I got my people in just a void. Oh, so she just doesn't have the option to summon right now. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked, as always. So, as lame as it is, I think I'm gonna have to use a Restore Staff on him. Which is indeed very lame. Uh... Warp and Rescue. Um, I'll dump the Warp for now. I can always take it back in a second. Here's a lame waste. It honestly would have been better if you died. <laughs> no, because then I don't think... Did they Berserk and then attack? Or attack and then Berserk? I don't remember the order. Why do I always have Schwarz and Noir in front, man? I mean, it's definitely my own fault. With them getting, like, massive experience, but... You know? When they're in front, what else am I gonna do? Hopefully they don't get, like, slaughtered by something. I don't know where everything's coming from, honestly. Like, you're moving with just a silver sword, despite having bows. And this person has magic that we're out of range of. Oh, so you're who can come hit them with a rune sword? That's not really that scary. Uh, you cannot get us... This person probably can if he's moving. Oh, but he's not. You are also not. And then I just have the Eclipse slash Berserk. Depends on what they want to do. Eclipse is a little scary since that's just half health. But hopefully I can dodge those, or that it just won't be an issue? Anyway. I need her to go grab that chest. Because despite the fact that I want Hazel to be a melee unit, well, a fighting unit, she also has a lot of versatility with the chest stuff, so... What do we got? Okay, cool. Since I just used those, that's actually very nice. I could even use it on Hazel if I wanted to, because she's almost max level. I guess I'll place Gray here. Um, he's higher level. Okay, so Cecil will go here then. Although he won't be in range of Noir, so this could be very bad for him. Because he seems to be not the greatest when he doesn't have his sister. Just saying. I'll go ahead and put the uh, Phantom out here. Oh, he has Savage Blow. That's cool. I always forget about that. Forget about a lot of things. The rest of you lagging behind that might not ever see action because of how you're lagging behind. It's fine. Do some of this action just to have you two next to each other, and then... I don't know what else to do. Like, I could send Cecil in to go attack if I danced with Angel, but... I don't know. Alternatively, we can do this to get Hazel back into the action. Here she is, ready to go. I guess I'll just keep you on the edge, and then since Say can't summon anybody now, she'll just go here, Elizabeth, go here, boom, bam. More dialogue. Lord Caleb. The enemy may be, may be tough, but we're with you. Until peace is achieved, we will do whatever is necessary. We stand with you until the end. Hmm, I know you will, but do I deserve it? Never mind what I just said. I was merely drifting. Listen, there's a high chance I might die in this battle. Were that to happen, instruct the other acolytes to not pursue calm. But what? It is my homeland, and I do not wish to see it harmed. End of story. I see. I will relay your message. But we will not let you die. We fight for a better future. Yeah, but just in a, an extreme way that I just feel is stupid. So that is why I'm going against you. Dang, Phantom. Hit that dodge. <sighs> I mean, at least the Berserk is dead now. 
still annoying that I have to either use a restore on a phantom or risk it attacking me. Also, I didn't check out if his wife was a unit down there. I kind of forgot. It doesn't look like it. I don't know if she was just what, like, spawned all those creatures, all those enemies, but... Whatever. So anyway... <laughs> um, I'll let Zero get some fighting in, because... He hasn't. And again, I, I just I don't need Shores and Noir doing everything. I just realized, did a uh, homeboy the top right move? I don't think he did. What the frick, dude? Well, hopefully you can handle this without Noir. <sighs> you can. I don't need to take 11 damage, but... Oh well, I don't really have a choice in the matter. Dodge? Cool. All right, level 12? No, 13. Yeah. Okay, that's a little better, especially the skill. I like that, because you seem to be able to... Or seem not to be able to hit things very easily. Okay, so I'll have to use a br uh, restore staff again, if anybody can even reach him. Oliver can. I'll put him in danger, though. Maybe? I mean, we'll see how this turn goes. I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. Such a waste on a phantom, but also I'm glad I bait the fi the berserk on the phantom. I guess. I don't know. Maybe I don't like that because, <laughs> like I complained about, it just feels like a waste to have to use a restore on one. You know. <sighs> I'm kind of wanting to send Hazel this way, but she could get silver lanced. I don't like that very much. But also, she's got pretty good dodging, so maybe it's not bad. I don't know. I don't like the 5% chance of death. As I've said before, I don't like taking risks. At all. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna Silver Knife you. The Silenced Hazel. She may not be able to speak, but she can still murder. She'll need to kill like one or two more things before level 20 as well. So, gotta keep that in mind. I could also, like, rescue her, although that seems kind of wasteful, too. I could rescue... Sorry, by rescue, I was talking about rescue staff. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I have... I don't like using Master Spear up so much, but whatever. I'm close to the end of the game. I need to stop with that mentality of, like, oh no, I'm gonna use all this precious durability. So I can send Gray up here, and since he's got unlimited, might as well. Yes, yeah, Savage Blow, the wall that doesn't exist. I love to see it. Okay, Phantom is still alive. I moved him down. Shores and Noir might go do more, even though I keep saying, oh, I shouldn't use them so much as I continue to use them a lot. It's just the way it goes. I don't want a turtle. I do that enough. I'm a little scared of this enemy phase, actually, because the Phantom can protect me from one thing, but then there's just so much more coming. And Oliver's kind of in front. I don't like that. Okay, this guy can't reach Oliver. This person can't. You can without Eclipse. That's probably what scares me the most, honestly. It's just this guy, or wait, no, this guy who's maybe gonna go after the Phantom? Wait. Okay, I think this is all just the Eclipse range. I'm gonna go ahead and step these two forward, and then just pour other people in behind them, and Angel's not even gonna dance this turn, which also feels somewhat wasteful, but whatever, and then... Oh shoot, am I in his Blizzard range? I didn't think about that. Okay, Phantom did bait that guy. Yeah, I'm slowed down and skilled down. Oh, but I got a crit, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Josephine be like, I'm gonna protect Hazel with my life. Also, a really good level.
Okay, she can't even dodge it, but I don't think... Unless I accidentally put people in Kayla's Blizzard range, she should be fine. I just uh, should have paid more attention to the, the range of Kayla, and I'm a little scared, as always. Uh, I don't like 12 damage, but whatever. And of course I didn't dodge it, because why would I? Uh, hopefully that misses. Darn. I need to murder more people, but I'm also scared of Blizzard, as I've said 500 times. So even though I just talked about how I shouldn't turtle, or I don't want to turtle, I think I'm gonna have to. Because, yikes. Okay, Cecil's... I mean, Cecil... No, he can't go kill, so you know what? I'm gonna help... Get Hazel out of here. And go back this way. I need to double check his range. Oops. Whoops. Okay, so I'm pretty good for a while. We're not as close as I was worried about. If I sent Josephine over here... Isn't the Hallberg getting dismounted? Yeah. So that's a little not great. A lot of people can go fight right now, though, and I definitely need to do that. And hopefully survive any and all counterattacks. I can't double, though. Maybe right here, so you're closer to Shores, and then... Not good enough to kill, and then I'm sure you're not doubling here. It's probably my best bet. Hopefully I crit or skill or something. Okay, there we go. Oh, both? Decimated? You're bad? Get out of my sight. Uh, let's see. You. White Rose. 75 crit's pretty nice. Oh, they have 31 HP? Oh, of course I can't hit hard enough. Eleven Sword, whatever. Oh, they can dodge mad. They have the skill, right? I'm assuming that's what happened. Well, whatever. That's annoying, but it's fine. She's fine. Everything's fine. I'm gonna have to restore you. And probably go heal Rose. I think I'll hold off on healing Rose, though. I need to see how the rest of this turn goes. Okay, so Josephine... Oh wait, I was worried about the cavalry stuff over there. I think this is fine. Honestly, just for like, lore reasons and uh... whatnot, I would love to Great Rune Zero. Although he's got a long way to go. But I'd love to see him hit a new class. Haven't used his Dragonstone yet, so might as well. That should be 100 experience, right? Sick. Oh, wow. The most offensive level you could ever imagine. Elizabeth, probably not going to do anything with you, because you're half health. I mean, you healed up a little bit, but you're half health. <laughs> uh... Hmm. And you don't have any healing, do you? I don't know if I have any heals in the convoy, either. I kind of doubt it. Drop off the lightning. Oh, well. I'm dumb. Okay, well. If Elizabeth can't fight, she can heal. If only she had lived to serve. That'd be cool. But that's what Oliver has. I feel like I should do something with Say, but I don't know what. Anyway, Sidolith, Lance... Oh, you might have Miracle, though. Yep. Sure do. So annoying. 
Josephine is uh, on a rampage, though. No experience for that, really? Lame. Might have to physic her, but I don't. I think Mithra has the physic. Although I could always just grab one from the convoy. Okay, so I'm thinking a summon would be nice, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and. I guess it doesn't matter which one I use, but we'll go with the flux. New skill, maybe? Don't know what that is. Oh! That's dope! Although I don't know how often I have you take damage in the first place, but still, it's dope. Okay, so Shores and Noir can't really do much for me here, so you're just gonna go... Oh wow, this person has a lot of HP. That's annoying. And I can't double you either. Why are you this powerful? Can you not be? Oh! That's the wife! Kaleth's lost wife temporarily returned to the world by her own will. Her bond with Kaleth cannot be broken. Oh, but your resurrected body can be. That would explain why she's so freaking strong, though. And she has Miracle. That's annoying. <laughs> um... So... I'm assuming we can't talk to her, because that'd be kind of weird. So now here's what I'm thinking. Let's dance zero. And he'll just stay out of her range and take her health down a little bit. With either the longbow or the giant speller. Yeah, let's play it safe and go for that. I believe in my husband's cause. Enough to cross the river of death. Will you be able to do the same? <laughs> well, we're not gonna die, stupid. I'm gonna double check to make sure you don't have some bullshit vantage. The unknown properties, like, I don't think that would give her a vantage, but who knows? With my luck, it probably will. And I'm about to send somebody to their death. But here we go! Bye! Your strength is admirable, but death is not up to stop me. My apologies. Excuse me, what does that mean? Does that mean you're coming back, or something else? Also, Angel did not get, uh... Like... What am I trying to say? Also, why is this guy scary? Killing weapon? Killing killer bow. Not the killing killer bow! I guess we'll go here. I don't really like this very much. I believe that's Ignis or something, which is not needed. I wish it healed you, that'd be cool. Like an Aether. A magic Aether. Although that sounds redundant. Okay, so we can still get Eclipsed, which could go pretty terribly. But none of you, I mean, you can Eclipse us, but none of you are coming after us. They have free reign to hit a lot of people. I don't like that. Same with you. That's really it. I don't know about this side right now. They're just not moving. Okay. So it's really just these skeletons that are... Uh, the potential scary ones. This is why I wish I had a phantom now, but I don't. So uh, here's hoping we live this turn, and then I will end it once we hit the player phase again. Oh, new skill for you? Not a good level. Wow, something... for initiation? Oh, she just respawns every turn? That's kind of annoying, especially with how strong she was. Going after Rose? I don't think Rose can be hit by anybody, so... whatever. Okay, I mean, if they all go after Noir, I'm not too worried. Especially when Noir absolutely dumpsters them like this. Uh, 
Well, that's what I was worried about. Oh, but you can't do any damage. And if Angel doubles you, you're just dead. Wow. Oh, she crit. I guess that's what that cheering was. Okay. Oh, you're all just incredibly weak. And here I was worried for nothing once again. Although I'm not going to underestimate anybody, because that will also get me killed. Just like Maria died, although that wasn't me underestimating, that was stupid fog of war bullshit. Still mad about it. Anyway, I'm going to end this here. Next episode will probably be longer. Next episode will also probably involve me baiting out uh, seven blizzards, which is going to take, you know, seven turns of nothing. But uh, that's the stuff I do to uh, ensure my units stay alive. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, I'm assuming you enjoyed the episode, so consider leaving a like and subscribing to join the Small Crit Club, and I will see you all next time. Bye!